there are certain characteristics that you need as a pastor's wife. And sometimes as a pastor's wife, we get so caught up with the outward appearance of being a pastor's wife until we don't make sure that we have the basic characteristics that we need as a pastor's wife. So if you want to better yourself, make sure you watch this video and also watch my other videos in this series about the characteristics that you need to have as a pastor swipe. It's good to have a selfless attitude. And the reason why you are going to need one is because you are going to have to share your husband. He's going to spend a lot of his time counseling others. Whenever the members get into trouble, he's going to be one of the first person that they are going to call. So you have to have a selfless attitude. It takes a lot of patience to be a pastor's wife. And if your husband is the founder of the ministry, for the first couple of years or more, he's going to be spending a lot of time in the ministry because it's new, which means that you guys are not going to spend as much time together. And that can be hard on your relationship, but you have to learn not to take it in personal and just pray that eventually that God will give him wisdom in the area of time management. So that way he'll learn how to cut back on certain things and make sure that he's giving you some of his time. If your husband is the founder of the church at first, for the first couple of years, you guys are going to have to invest a lot of your money into the church because you are the founder. It's just like you're starting your own business. And when you start your own business, you are expected to be the first one to contribute to the business. And so I can say like for the first couple of years of our marriage, I would say maybe 10 years or more of our marriage, we struggled a lot financially because a lot of its income will go into the church. I understand it more now because it's like you are investing in yourself. And if you believe in what you're doing, you will invest in it. And if you expect your members or anyone else to contribute to your ministry financially, you're going to have to be first partakers. But I can say this, in the Bible, when it talks about how that if you seek God's kingdom first and his righteousness, and all of these will be added unto you. And also how that God will supply all of your needs. I am a witness that he will do that for you. For the first couple of years, you may struggle in your finances, but you will reap the benefits of it in the long run. It's important as a pastor's wife to be a team player. And the reason why is because that he's going to need your support. He's going to need you to assist him in different areas in the church, whatever area in the church that's vacant. And it's something that I kind of already know how to do. I start doing it. I start doing it and I continue in that particular role till we get someone else in the church that know how to do it better than I can. Then I let it go and I move to something else. So I learned to be versatile as a pastor's wife. So whatever area in your church that your husband need you to assist in, be willing to assist him. Over the years of being a pastor's wife, every so often I would hear other pastors say something like how that a church is not a business, but it is a business and you should run it like a business. So being that the church is a business and in order for your church to grow, you got to have members. Your members are your customers. So it's important to be able to get along with the members. You don't want to be the number one reason why your membership decreases. So the way that you get along with others, it does help your church to grow. So if you look at your church like a business and look at the members as customers, it will help you to treat them just like you would in your business. It's kind of like customer service. You don't want to spend your money and your time at a business that has bad customer service. When you look at your church as a business, it does help you to be more positive about being a pastor's wife. For example, when you look at it as a business, you won't take it so personal when your husband spend a lot of his time counseling or being at the church, handling church business, because it's more like a investment 
and whatever you spend a lot of your time in, in the long run, you're going to reap the benefits. I hope it was something said in this video that helped you. And if it was, share with me which comment that you like the best. If you like my message and you want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click on the notification bell. That way when I upload a video, you'll be notified. I have a Facebook group called Chats with Flow and it's all about self-development. So if you want to improve yourself, come and join my Facebook group. I would love to have you. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to stay tuned for my next upload about the characteristics that you need as a best wife. Bye.